Okay, today we're gonna to look at how to create a Google Meet that cannot be accessed by students when you, the teacher, are not in that space, and then how to add a link inside your Canvas course right in this navigation. It'll take them to Google Meet and prompt them to put in that nickname that you're gonna create the Meet from. So we've got two different things going on. We're gonna make a Meet, and we're going to put that into your navigation in Canvas. First. Let's talk about the Meet. So Google Meet is a great tool. It does have some limitations when it comes to using it with kids. And one of those is that if you just make a generic Google Meet and you go to meet.google.com and you share a link to a specific meeting room with them, that that can be opened before and after you're there and they would be able to hang out without you. Now we're going to lock that down a little bit. So there is kind of a quirky way that you're going to do that. So when you are at meet.google.com, you're gonna click join or start a meeting. Kids only see join a meeting, they can't start a meeting. And for you, you're gonna pick a nickname that will be the same every single time. And that's the key that opens the meeting room door. It'll be a different meeting room every time. So you're not gonna copy a link that's got a specific meeting room code in it. They're just gonna make sure to put in this nickname exactly the same every time. So make it unique so that no other teacher is going to also join you in this meeting room at the same time. So not Smith Algebra, because there might be a lot of people that are teaching algebra with the last name of Smith. So make sure it's unique. So for me, maybe I'll do Darnay Algebra. Probably not any Darnay Algebras, but maybe I'll also put like my room number. Right? So now there's probably nobody else that's last name Darnay teaching algebra in room 403. So that's going to be my code every single time. The kids are going to use it exactly that same way. Capitals don't matter, but spaces do matter. So um, they could put in lowercase d and lowercase a and they'd still get to the same spot. Just knowing that this is my nickname every time. If I were to click continue now, it's going to open a meeting room. And now anybody that goes to meet.google.com that's logged in through our Pike account, so they have to be logged in as our Pike account, and they put in Darnay Algebra 403, they're going to be able to join this room with me. Now, this part up here, the um, meeting code, that's going to change every time. So don't send them straight to a code. Just give them that nickname. And that's going to help us have a closed meeting room. So knowing that, I'm going to X out of meet because I don't need that code. I just need to know my nickname. I don't need that URL. I just need the nickname. And now we're gonna put a Google Meet link into the navigation of my course. This is pretty cool. This is the redirect tool. So I'm gonna click on settings on the left. I clicked on settings. And then I'm gonna come up here to apps. And I wanna search for redirect. It's this little arrow, redirect tool. When I click that, I'm going to click Add App. You can do this as many times as you want. I'm going to add that app. Now, instead of that redirect tool being the name, I'm going to call this Google Meet, and I can put more directions. Wednesdays, 1.30, use nickname, Darnay Algebra 403. I put all that in there. That's really cool. And I'm going to tell it where to go, and it's going to meet google.com. Now I do want this to open in a new tab. Um, it'll work better outside of the Canvas environment. Some websites you could have just open right inside a little Canvas window, but this one does work better on its own. And then I do want it to show up in course navigation. So I'm gonna check those two boxes and then I'm gonna click add app. Then now when I click home, I will see that it has added my link with that name, that whole long name right there so the kids can see it. So if I went to student view, my students will see, we'll meet Wednesday 1.30, use nickname Darnay Algebra 403. When they click that, it'll just take them to a page that prompts them to open it in a new tab. So they'll have both their Canvas and their Meet windows open side by side in the new tabs. And then again, they'll only see join a meeting. When they click that, they'll have to put in your nickname. 
Now, just make sure that you go there and open that room a few minutes before 1.30 or whatever your time is, because um, if they were to put in that nickname and you hadn't opened that door yet, then it would say it didn't work. Like there is no meeting with that name. So go a few minutes early because you know you'll have those early birds. And then remind them to all drop out before you close the room just so that you can confirm that everybody's gone before you cut anybody off if they were asking you a question because as soon as you leave, that room no longer exists. And that's why you don't want to give them a code at the end of meet.google.com because that changes every time. The nickname.